All right, back at that no heat. 90 degrees and the AC is running. Uh, and I got the inducer that I need. Got the inducer that I need along with the pressure switch. So we're gonna be replacing those. This should be a pretty quick and simple video here. Inducers are always a uh, super easy repair. The 90% inducers are my favorite. Those go just a little smoother and a little bit quicker. We'll get the pressure switch done first. Total of one screw for the pressure switch. And we'll check, we wanna make sure inches of water column are the same. Uh, negative 0.1, so we're good there. two wires and a hose. We'll leave the hose off since we're taking the inducer out next. Put the wires on, bada bing, bada boom. Pressure switch is done. Next up, inducer. We've got one screw here for the exhaust. And one screw here for the inducer. Two wires on it. That wasn't smart. Usually, all right, well, that sucks. Uh, usually, they have opposite fittings, so you can't mix and match. This one doesn't. I just yanked them off. I'm going to assume black to black, white to blue, but I don't want to mess anything up. Try and take a couple extra seconds here. We'll find our inducer. Look at that, I would have had it wrong. That would have sucked. White goes to the black and white, and blue or black goes to dark blue. Good idea to take pictures beforehand. If you can't read wiring diagrams for whatever reason. It's the coolest stuff in the world.
Oh my god. Pulling over one inch of water column, which is beautiful. Ever. All right, well, that's it. She runs, inducer replaced, pressure switch replaced. Life is all cheese.